Good morning, Zion and friends of Zion. Welcome to another Monday. Today is Patriot Day, Monday, September 11th. It is the Monday after the 15th Sunday after Pentecost. The Psalms today are 41 and 52, and our reading will be from Philippians, but I will get to that when we get that far. Please join me for a Monday of prayer on a day when we could all really use a little bit extra. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. We are now on Book of Common Prayer, page 641. I may have failed to mention earlier that this is right, too, and you were beginning on page 80. But now we're on page 400, 641 for the Psalms. Happy are they who consider the poor and needy. The Lord will deliver them in the time of trouble. The Lord preserves them and keeps them alive so that they may be happy in the land. He does not hand them over to the will of their enemies. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed and ministers to them in their illness. I said, Lord, be merciful to me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies are saying wicked things about me. When will he die and his name perish? Even if they come to see me, they speak empty words. Their heart collects false rumors. They go outside and spread them. All my enemies whisper together about me and devise evil against me. A deadly thing, they say, has fastened on him. He has taken to his bed and will never get up again. Even my best friend, whom I trusted, who broke bread with me, has lifted up his heel and turned against me. But you, O Lord, be merciful to me and raise me up, and I shall repay them. By this I know you are pleased with me, that my enemy does not triumph over me. And in my integrity you hold me fast and shall set me before your face forever." Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from age to age. Amen. Amen. Page 657. You tyrant, why do you boast of wickedness against the godly all day long? You plot ruin. Your tongue is like a sharpened razor. O worker of deception, you love evil more than good and lying more than speaking the truth. You love all words that hurt. O deceitful tongue. Oh, that God would demolish you utterly, topple you and snatch you from your dwelling and root you out of the land of the living. The righteous shall see and tremble and they shall laugh at him saying, this is the one who did not take God for a refuge, but trusted in great wealth and relied upon wickedness. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will give you thanks for what you have done and declare the goodness of your name in the presence of the godly. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Philippians chapter 1, verses 1 through 11. Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are in Philippi, with the bishops and deacons. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God every time I remember you, constantly praying with joy in every one of my prayers for all of you because of your sharing in the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this that the one who began a good work among you will bring it to completion by the day of Jesus Christ. It is right for me to think this way about all of you because you hold me in your heart. For all of you share in God's grace with me, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. 
For God is my witness, how I long for all of you with the compassion of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may overflow more and more with knowledge and full insight to help you to determine what is best, so that in the day of Christ you may be pure and blameless, having produced the harvest of righteousness that comes through, the, through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense. He will be my savior. Therefore, you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day, you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing praises of the Lord for he has done great things. And this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We are back to page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers in righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Grant us, O Lord, to trust in you with all our hearts, for as you always resist the proud who confide in their own strength, so you never for forsake those who make their boast of your mercy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live, move, and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplication and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for coming alongside me this Monday morning. Have a wonderful week.